What's the volunteer friendly alternative to a contract? This presentation will give you guidance on what a volunteer agreement might include and how to minimise the risk of inadvertently creating an employment contract. Volunteer agreements can be used to set out both an organisation's commitments to its volunteers and what it expects or hopes for from its volunteers. They act as a reference point for volunteers and remind to the organisation that it should meet the standards of good practice that it has set. Typically, in an agreement, an organisation might commit to provide a full induction and any training necessary for the volunteer role, to provide regular support to the volunteer in their role and a named contact for the volunteer who will support them in the role, to treat volunteers in line with this equal opportunities policy, to reimburse out-of-pocket expenses, to provide insurance cover for the volunteers and to implement good health and safety practice. A volunteer agreement might expect volunteers to follow policies and procedures relevant to volunteers and the role the volunteer is undertaking, e.g. equal opportunities, health and safety and confidentiality, to meet mutually agreed expectations around the role, such as the amount of time the role is expected to take. Nature and purpose of the voluntary work. They're in position of the person who will supervise the volunteer or to whom the volunteer is responsible. The volunteer's agreement to abide by the organisation's objectives, equal opportunities policy, health and safety policy, etc. The organisation's commitment to the volunteer, e.g. supervision, training and expenses. The fact that the organisation and volunteer do not intend this arrangement to be legally binding. Keep it simple. Do not use jargon. Avoid employment type words like contract, pay and work. Do not imply any obligation on the part of the volunteer. This is an example of the appropriate declaration of a volunteer agreement to avoid creating a contractual relationship. This would be signed and dated by both the volunteer and the person managing them. If you would like a sample volunteer agreement, please do get in touch and we can email you one to tweak to suit your own organisation. The Volunteer Centre has a wide range of resources for those who manage volunteers. These range from sample documents, information sheets, we can give you links to online resources, and also potential networks that may help with your volunteer management where you can connect with other people who manage volunteers. There's no such thing as a silly question when you're involving volunteers and we're more than happy to help you if we can. Please do get in touch and we'll do our best to help. Here are our contact details, email, direct phone number and also our Facebook and Twitter feeds. There's loads of information on our website, which is volunteeringcounts.org.uk, including details of our training. We do regular posts on our blog sharing information, ideas, events, and also we have an opportunity of the day every single day for local volunteer involving groups. So why not get in touch and see how we can help you get the very best of your volunteer programme?